Hello everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to the first part of our Google Sheets tutorial. Make sure that you already have logged in into your Google account before we can access this one. So to check on that, you can click here. So this is my Google account right here. I've already logged in on our Google Chrome. It would be better if you're going to use Google Chrome for this. So first is we are going to search for Sheets that google.com or type in sheets that google.com on our address bar and this is the google sheets environment or the interface clicking on the template gallery you will see a lot of templates to choose from click back in here you will see a couple of previous files that i have created to create a new file just click on the plus sign on the blank area this is the Google Sheets interface. In a while, I need to zoom this one in so that it would be easier for you guys to see. First things first, we are going to rename the file. So I'm going to change this one to sample sheet. This is just a sample. So automatically, your file will be saved on your Google Drive. So to access your saved file, let me open a new tab first you can access it through here sheets.google.com scroll down a little bit and there you go if you wish to delete the file you can just click on the three dots here then choose remove for now i'm not going to remove it but i'm going to go back to my sample sheet so in order for us to type a file or type an information in here you can just click on a single sheet then type anything that you like simple as that to delete a file or to delete a data just click on the cell then press delete click delete there you go next is we are going to format texts in google sheet to do that just type let's say if i'm going to type my name my last name to format my name i'm going to click here to change the font formatting let's say if i'm going to choose this font let me zoom out a little bit there if i wish to change the color of this text click here under text color i'm going to choose this color if i'm going to change this one to bold i can click here some other options can be found here but let me just zoom this one out a little bit there if i wish to change the alignment i can just click here change it to center now if i wish to copy the formatting that i have created on the first cell going to the next one all i need to do is just to click on the reference cell click paint format then click on the next cell if i wish to remove all the formatting i can highlight both of them click format choose clear formatting if my tutorial is quite fast you can always pause it and replay the area where you are getting confused up next is if you wish to compute values in google sheets you can click on a particular cell let's say if i am going to type this value right here and type another value always remember in creating a formula in Google Sheets always start with an equal sign same thing with Microsoft Excel I'm just going to type equals click on the first cell value this one is D4 because as you can see by the time I have clicked on the cell automatically column letter D 
and row number 4 has been highlighted. Press the plus sign as my operator, then click on the next cell, which is D5, then press enter. There you go. If you wish to change the formatting of this number, first you need to highlight those numbers that needs to be formatted, then click on the arrow in here, the more formats arrow. Let's say I'm going to choose currency. I'm just going to click on currency. Now it is in dollar format. If you wish to change the currency, highlight all the cells, go back to the more formats arrow, scroll down, you have the custom currency option. Click on custom currency, choose your country, so for me, I'm going to choose Philippine Peso. Or if you're not able to find the name of the country, you can just simply search it from here. So just type PH, there you go. Click on the country, click apply. Now it is formatted. That is how you are going to use the basics in Google Sheets. On the next tutorial, we are going to deal with the basic point of sale using Google Sheets. Okay, so bye for now.